This program is brought to you by Emory University. Many's the time I've been mistaken And many times It was the era, it was my coming of age and his incredible sensitivity to words and to music. I mean, he's such an incredible songwriter the way the two are married in his music, but it just spoke to me in that, in my coming of age. He spoke so clearly and gave voice to so many of those sentiments. The first time I ever slow danced with a girl was to bridge over troubled water across the Little Neck Bay, looking at the Throgs Net Bridge all lit up. And I'm driving on a bus in summer camp and a moon is rising over an open field, I think of the song America. In fact, I turned to the kid next to me and said, this is just like that song, America. Well, a very good friend of mine shared with me that the first time she made love with her first love, they were listening to America. And so those memories, the memory of the music and the being in love with the first love and expressing that love all came together with with the music, with Paul Simon's music. My parents were into the folk, you know, the whole folk revival, and so they listened to Simon and Garfunkel, and then when I was in college, Graceland hit, and that, we just listened to that over and over again. It was such, it just, it really, I don't know if it so much captured the spirit of the times or it made the spirit of the times. Graceland was the favorite album to play while I was pregnant. This was great music to sing to, jump around the apartment. Uh, both my husband and I danced a lot with this songs from that album. And now I have kids, I have young children, and um, we sing to them. And one of the lullabies we sing is St. Judy's Comet, the one that goes, ooh, ooh, little sleepy girl, do you know what time it is? The hour of your bedtime's long been past. And it's supposed to be sleepy boy, but we change it to girl. Oh, and then the, 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 the great line, um, He's trying to sing his boy to sleep. Um, if I can't sing my boy to sleep, it makes your famous daddy look so dumb. Look so dumb. He repeats it, which is nice. Um, and then, but my wife changes it to makes your famous mommy look so dumb. But the kids love it, and every night they ask for this. A year after our daughter was born, uh, she was in Baby's Hospital in New York City uh, awaiting open heart surgery to have a heart defect repaired. And we, we talked with lots of parents on the pediatric cardiac floor there. Um, at, and the, the story that we heard was that the surgeon that was operating on our children um, preferred country western music while he did his open heart surgeries. But one of the parents on the floor had purchased for the surgeon uh, a copy of Graceland. They, they felt that he should have it, and of course, numerous references to the heart in, in that album. Um, losing love is like a window in your heart. Um, the other line is uh, the boy in the bubble and the baby with the baboon heart. Uh, these are the days of, you know, miracles and wonder. You know, he's firmly entrenched in three generations, and he's become a lullaby. If you become a lullaby, if you make a lullaby, that is deeply entrenched in, in, in a culture. It's interesting, it's sort of come full circle because my daughter's 25 now and she just made a CD for me to play in the car and Sounds of Silence is on it and the acoustic version is on. So. When I was 15, um, for Christmas, I got my first ever stereo. It was a little, you know, it was under a hundred bucks. I think it was a Sears stereo to, from my room and that was the very first album that I got. And I used to listen to it by myself up in my room. And the loneliness, I think he understands loneliness on a very deep level. And at that age, I mean, the, the combination of loneliness and desire and the feeling of not being understood. I used to listen to that music and look out at the snow falling in, <laughs> in my neighborhood. Um, I would look out the window and listen to that album and watch the flakes coming down. I met my own on the street last night. 
for me, Paul Simon, there's his, his music for me as a young musician, but also the turkey suit. Those two things, you know, they, they shape sort of how I remember who I am and where I came from. Who I am is not fixed, but it's, it's how I, I remember. You know, sometimes I forget things, sometimes I re-remember things. Music is very important in that because it, it tends to uh, lock on to certain memories, to certain uh, uh, moments, to certain relationships. So I think about my mom, I think about my, my best friend, I think about what I was trying to learn, and I think about the things that made, that made me laugh. Yeah, Homeward Bound, I used that song as my ringtone when my mom called me from home, especially when I went off to college, listening to, uh, you know, home where my thoughts escaping, home where my music's playing, home where my love lies waiting silently for me. My mom used to have the rule, whoever drives the car controls the radio, so we listened to everything she liked uh, when I was growing up, and one of those groups was uh, Simon and Garfunkel and so I grew up listening to The Boxer and Cecilia which is one of my favorite songs. I think because I was always used to singing songs from that era it didn't seem it didn't seem old to me. Oh Cecilia I'm down on my knees I'm begging you please to come home Come on home, and then the part of the you know the part of the end is my favorite part. The, oh 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 oh. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.